Hey, what's up guys? So in today's episode, I'm gonna show you how to take your idea that we've been working on in Guitar Pro over into your doll. Now I'm using Reaper, so I'm gonna take it over into Reaper. I also use Easy Drummer, so I'm using Easy Drummer today. So the first thing that we wanna do is open up into your Guitar Profile. And then we're gonna come down here, solo the drums. I only take the drums over there with me, right? So solo the drums, come up to File, Go down to export, export MIDI. And then it's gonna pop up this window. I'm gonna call this, uh, let's see. Uh, how to guitar pro drums. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and save that on my desktop. Um, I'll just save it right there, no big deal. So now that's saved. So now we can take this out completely, but we'll leave it. So now we have this. So now we're in Reaper. So I'm gonna come over here, double click. I'd just like to open that up a little bit more. Come to your effects window. We're gonna go down to wherever your drums are. I'm using Easy Drummer. Let it load. Okay, so there it is, loaded up, you can see it there. Now we have it here. Now one, one more important thing, this is in 130. You need to make sure that the beats per minute is right before you put it in there. So now I can take that down. Uh, we'll go ahead and minimize this because we're just gonna drag and drop it in. Yes. Now we can open this up. So, now it's kind of quiet as you can hear. So what I like to do is double click and it pulls this up. Now from this window we can do a lot. However, I like to open it up bigger. And then you can see the velocity here is kind of, it's not halfway, but it's close. So I just like to come through and Pop it all the way up, all of it. Now, um, in later videos, we'll go over velocity, although I don't think it's necessarily that important when it comes to writing a song. Uh, it's more important to, like, sending the song out to people to hear. Uh, some people like top velocities the whole way through, like, but with snare hits and stuff, if you're doing, like, a like a run, like a snare run or something like that. <clears throat> I do like to mess with the velocities there. I kind of go uh, with uh, the Get Good Drums velocity. Uh, Misha did like a thing and what he does for all his velocities and his thanking process and everything on it. Uh, so you can go over there to Misha's channel and watch that. But just to go ahead and show you, we have this here. And we can pull this up. Now I'm using right there, that metal mix. Um, this isn't the mix I typically use. I have a preset here, user presets. I'm gonna go down to user preset. Where's it at? It might be up here actually, yeah. Basic metal kit. And then, yeah, that's it. Double check here, yep, fat metal kick. That's where I like to keep it. And then if you come over here to mixer, you can mix everything. Now there's others, there's some other options that you can use with Easy Drummer and also uh, other options to like have separate tracks for your snare and your kick and stuff. However, um, we're not gonna do any of that here. Today, that would be for how to set up Easy Drummer video or something like that. So now that we have this here, I do kind of like to bring this up and let's go ahead and look. So our intro is from the first measure all the way to the ninth measure. So come in here, go ahead and click it and you can see where it ends on the ninth right there. You can come up here, create region from selection Boom, that's our intro. Edit region. 
intro. I like to set the color. I usually go with pink for the intro. Boom. So there's that, right? All right, guys. So now that I showed you how to do that, I'm gonna go in here and go ahead and put all the regions in here. I'll be right back. All right, everyone, and we're back. So you can see here, I went through and sectioned off everything on where they're at. So typically you can go through and listen to all this, right? And let's go ahead and open this up. So you can see it all here. So where's the note names? So since I've already went through and made note names for uh, all my kits, my basic metal kit, I can see here. So there's a splash. I'm gonna turn it up a little bit. And we got half open hi-hat, close hi-hat, snare, our kick, and then these kicks are down here for whatever reason, I don't know. Uh, so let's say I wanted to go through and I didn't like this half open hi-hat. So let's listen to it. You know what I don't like actually in real life is that splash. So let's use this crash. So you can right click this, come over here, grab it, and just take it down. So that's how you can experiment with what you like to hear. And I do like that a lot better. And now I'm kind of thinking that I don't want that crash on this first verse, right? So we can come through, highlight it, and We'll take it and let's put it on, let's put it on the right. Just experimenting, no harm, no foul. You can always just hit the back button and uh, change it back. Now, that kick is a little loud. We're not doing mixing and mastering right now, right? Yeah, I do like that right there. I do like that right there. So, I'm actually gonna come over here on this verse, and I'm gonna go ahead and put that right up there. And it, I can kinda see, let me, let me get right here. Yeah, so we got, So, we have that right here. Let's go ahead and add, let's take, put another right there. I'm gonna take away that half open high hat Just because this is the beginning of the second verse. This, let's do a, hmm, ride bill. Yeah. And there's also that one here, or, uh, but we'll leave that. So now we got it going like that, right? But if you want to turn down that kick drum, like I showed you before, you can just come down here, exit that. You can come up here. And come down. And if you want to listen to there's your hi-hat, your overhead mic. You can see here that this is one, two, three, four. What we kind of actually need to do is come down here and hit one, 
not 100% sure why it defaulted to that. Probably have it saved in my presets somehow. But that's a, that's a video and we just did it. Okay, well, let me fix this real quick. Okay, so now we've come through and fixed it. So as I was saying, I have your overhead and the engine. Say I just want to work on a specific section, right? Um, let's say this bridge. I would come over here, just to make it easier, I would slice it there, come over here, slice it there. Double click this, now we have, we can see here all the other sections, but we're only working with this right here. And let's say that hi-hat, let's change that to, that ride. So what we just did actually, um, the ride in the verses or was actually on the one there, boom, 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 right? So now on the one of every beat. So now we got the ride on the, on the three of every beat. Except for there, that's double up. So let's go ahead and listen to that. And I kind of like that. So I'm gonna go ahead, leave it. There's no real reason, uh, as far as I know, to glue these back together. So I typically don't. Um, and say I came over here and I messed with this course some, you know, say I spliced this and spliced it there. I might come over here, splice this one, splice that one. I might just go ahead and cut that out and then whatever I did to this, I would just copy and paste it there. Now obviously I haven't done anything to it, so it's not that big of a deal, but just a thought. So now that you have all your drums in your DAW, it's a good time to go ahead and like put your guitar parts in or your bass parts. But that's going to be a episode for another time, uh, next Friday actually, um, on how to put your, you know, just tracking and setting up your bass and your guitars and, and then just doing it. I basically just showed you how to set up your drums uh, using Easy Drummer in your DAW, or at least in Reaper. Um, so next time we'll go through and uh, we'll track, we'll set up both the bass and the drums, or the bass and the guitars, and we'll track the guitars for this. And in the video after that, uh, we'll probably work on the vocals or edit the drums. Now, why would we go through and edit the drums? Well, editing, once we have the guitar parts there and the bass, we can edit the drums to kind of accent the riffs a little better, uh, change the feeling of the song a little bit, uh, give it more of a groove type feel, you know, uh, you want to have, you want to be able to have your audience bang in their head, you know, so once the guitars and the drums are, or the guitars and the bass are in here, it's easier to kind of manipulate the drums to get your sought after effect, right? So like I said, and when we were in Guitar Pro, it was just a placeholder. The drums were just there. Okay, that's what this is for. It's a basic, you know, thing. As you see in here, 
we came through, we changed some hi-hats um, and to some rides and you know, whatever. So now that's there, we'll come down through here. Next time, we'll probably do the bass first, uh, then uh, we'll do two guitar tracks. Um, and just to keep, uh, I'll go ahead and show you this. So just to keep everything kind of situated, uh, I like to come down here, track collar, set track custom collar. We'll go ahead with, we'll stay with pink or whatever collar that is, orange. For this base, we'll come down here, uh, track collar, set custom collar. Uh, we'll go with yellow. I can't typically use purple because it's my favorite collar, but just for simplicity's sakes today, we'll just go through, do that. Come down through here, track collar, set custom collar. We'll do a darker green. And then we're going to have the vocals, track collar. We'll probably have two vocal tracks. So we'll do a light blue. Uh, let's see. Set custom collar. We'll do a dark blue. Now, I'm going to make a master track for these, right? So let's see. I'm going to come up here. I'm gonna hit this. And these are the vocals. So this is my vocal bus. All right, and then I'll have vocal one, vocal two. Now I'm not the best at explaining all this, right? I typically do this just so say I set the levels on the vocals on how I want, right? Well, once that's set, but they're still too loud in the mix, I can just drop them down here. And same thing for the guitars and the uh, bass. So, um, just it's a good idea just to have, you know, it's the same idea of having it all sectioned off in verse, chorus, bridge, blah, 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 blah. And then coming down here and setting all this stuff up, naming the drums, your bass and your guitar tracks left and right and that kind of thing uh, but we'll get into that more as we move along thank you guys for watching this video i really appreciate it i'll see you guys in the next one